This is a short clip to show the different models of uh, CDD 700s that I have. This is a this is the high range 715. It's not good for much. If you're ever in a gamma field high enough to set this off, you're in trouble. This has been modified to run on a double A battery because double A's are cheaper than the D cell that it was intended to run on. The mirror is included so you can check to see if your hair is falling out or your gums are bleeding. This was made by Jordan. It's a decimeter. This is a Victorine. This is a Victorine Geiger counter. This was a Lionel. This is an ENI. This is an Anton. The ENI was stripped for parts. I took the meter and the tube off of it, put, the, put it on the Anton to make the Anton work. I left the Victorine as is. I thought it was too pretty, too stock to mess with. The Anton and the Lionel have been modified with BNC connectors so that I have more than one voltage on tap. And I put BNC connectors on the probes so I can swap probes. This is the pickle probe that came with it. It's a beta gamma detector. This is a Philips 18805. It measures alphas, betas, gammas, and neutrons. This is an Aerotech probe. This measures alphas, betas, and gammas. This runs on 450 volts. This runs on 450 volts. This runs on 900. This is scrap from a NATO unit. This is a JAN 7616, which measures alphas, betas, and gammas. There's an end window here that I keep covered up to protect it. This one should run on about 800 volts, I think, but it works okay on 750. It won't do it any harm. This Lionel 6B has been modified with AAA batteries and a solar panel, so I have an alternate way to run it. The D cells and, and the uh, rechargeables are blocked with a diode. E&I's have a reputation for being junk. That's why it was scrapped. I couldn't get it working anyway. With no probe on this Lionel, I have 950 volts on that tap. Seven oops. 750 volts on that tap. and 450 volts on that tap. So whichever probe, I, I marked them all so I can keep them separate. The Anton only has 450 and 950. <clears throat> I don't expect to use... If you had a, a crack in something and you had a gamma source behind the crack in the material you were looking for, you could move this around to find the crack or the pinhole leak. That's about all this is good for. It's too small to use for surface contamination. This is a much bigger window. If you were looking for contamination on your body, you'd use that or this. Uh, this probe and this one give about the same reading in a gamma source. So, because this one will measure neutrons and this one won't, if I was around something that was fissioning, and I wouldn't want to be, this probe would read lower than this one at the same distance, and the difference would be the neutron count. When I switched, you know if this says phone, I switched the audio and probe connectors because it was simpler to do that. To get the different voltages into the hood, I simply put Zener diodes, 100 volt Zeners backwards from the regular power supply, which starts off at 900. Two Zeners backwards from here to here gives me 750. Three more from here to here gives me 450 simple way to get a stable voltage.